congressman is challenging Democratic Representative Carol Shea Porter in New Hampshire's second congressional district. Ginta actually paid a visit to our studios today, and our very own Paul uh, Steinhauser had a chance to sit down with him. How'd it go, Paul? Yeah, it was an interesting conversation, and I guess you could say, here we go again, because this is now the third showdown between Ginta and Shea Porter. He beat her uh, back in the Republican wave of 2010. She topped him in the rematch two years ago in a more favorable Democratic climate. I asked him to what he's going to do the final four weeks of this campaign and what his priorities would be in Congress if he's elected next month. You're very well known in the 1st Congressional District. So is your opponent, uh, the Congresswoman. What do you do? Because polls indicate it could be a pretty close mm -hmm. race right now or you may have a slight advantage. What do you do over the next four weeks to... Uh, build a lead and how do you prepare for these upcoming debates? I think it's a matter of trying to connect directly with people so our TV ads are a little bit different it, it talks about a more personal side of me and and trying to communicate to people look I've been through a lot of challenges like everybody else and I'm going to utilize that experience to help families in New Hampshire secondly in terms of preparing for debates look Carol and I have debated a number of times um, it, it, like an old we're, married couple. We're, we're, we're very comfortable <laughs> with each other in terms of, you know, policy. Uh, mm -hmm. To me, I want to be respectful of her. I'm trying to show people, look, we have differences of opinion. I respect the person. But I'm just going to continue to talk to as many people directly as I can. That is what I think makes the difference in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Grassroots strength uh, and finishing strong in your debates. Let's say you win on uh, Election Day. It's pretty safe that the Republicans are going to keep control of the House of Representatives. What are the first two or three things you want to get done that you want to push, uh, do you want to get into law if you get elected? Uh, we can do through the appropriations process, uh, trying to take New Hampshire money and return New Hampshire money for mental health, education, and public safety. Those are, those are things that we can do through that first few months. Secondly, uh, we need to have tax reform in this country in order to grow our economy. Uh, not just on the individual side, but also on the corporate side. If we can be more competitive internationally, bring down that corporate rate, uh, get rid of all the loopholes, make it very simple, you're going to see uh, job recreation here in America that would happen at 250 to 300,000 jobs. That's what every family wants. So those are the things that I focus on immediately out of the gate. Now, Gint is going to be right back here at our studios later this month when he faces off against Shea Porter in an NH1 debate. That's Tuesday, October 21st at 7 p.m. Yeah, a big month of debates coming up here. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with these. I think we are. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Paul Steinhauser, thanks a lot. And by the way, as Paul just mentioned, NH1 News will be airing.